guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I actually recreated one of my favorite YouTubers, Julie Camille. Her a makeup look she actually just look she just created on her YouTube channel down below in the description box. She did a classic holiday makeup story and I got so much inspiration and I wanted to do it so bad because I love how she did just like this neutral eye with a little bit of glitter and then she just used a bold red lip and I love it so much. A lot of lipstick on my cheek right now. She is such a good YouTuber. I suggest you going check her out. She is so genuine, so real, so good at makeup, like so talented and she she deserves such a big following and I really suggest you go subscribe to her channel and follow her on her Instagram. I'll list, I'll list her YouTube channel and her Instagram down below. You guys should really check her out. She literally is amazing and I really hope you do see this Julie anytime soon. Just know I love you so much and you are so amazing and you inspire me every single day with makeup and you're so talented so I suggest everybody go check her out. I'm just so happy to recreate this look. It is so pretty and I actually didn't think it was going to turn out this good but I love it so much. It is so perfect for the holidays and I really love it. I just can't stop saying I love it. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Chloe and welcome to the video. Make sure you subscribe down below so you can become part of the family as we're growing each and every day. Make sure you click on the notification bell so you get notified of every single video I upload. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. I don't know if you can see it, but it's so pretty. She did mostly neutrals and she did a very pretty shimmer in the inner corner and then she did such a pretty red lip. And I tried to actually get some of the products that she got and I'm so excited to try this out. So I'm going to be priming my eyelids with some Tarte Sheet Tape. For this step, she actually didn't set it with powder or anything. She used a few shades from the Manny MUA Lunar Beauty Light to Dry Palette, but I don't have that palette. So I'm just going to be using my Hula Light Bronzer. Be focusing that on the outer corner to just give my eyes some definition. It's so weird not setting my concealer. Like I'm just so used to that. Following what Julie said, I trust her. Just want to make sure you blend it all out. So for this next step, she actually used another darker shade in the Life to Drag palette. So I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And I'm actually going to be using the darkest shade, which is this shade. But this shade, I think it's called Sam, but I don't know. It's just a darker brown shade. And I'm actually going to be using a more definer brush. It is this is the Morphe M506. I'm going to be lightly diffusing that on the outer corner. It looks so pretty. And then I'm going to just do the same in the other eye. It's honestly just so perfect for the holidays and how we're going to be doing that bright red lip. It's just going to be perfect. Shadow, you want to use a black. I'm using the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette. Because again, I don't have the Lunar Beauty one. But how Julie did it is she mostly just tapped it right in the outer corner of the lid, close to the lash line, and blending it up. Oh, that is pigmented. Now I'm just doing the other eye. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to be using a glitter primer. So this is the NYX glitter primer. This is the first time me ever getting it, and I actually picked it up today at Target. <laughs> It's so cute. You just want to put it in the inner corner. What it does is it helps the glitter to not have any fallout or to go on your foundation. And actually, I'm happy I got this because it actually happened last time. The glitter that Julie used was the Stila Liquid Liquid and Glow Eyeshadow in the shade Kitten Karma, which you guys know I love this so much. Like she talked about in her video, she's not going to be doing, she obviously didn't do a cut crease or anything, but carved it out. It kind of looked like a cut crease. That's what we're going to do. And then what I just do after I get it the shape I want, I kind of just pat it all in to blend it. So I brought you guys up a little close. So I wanted you to see actually what the eye look looks like so far. It looks so pretty. A little bit of the black and the brown. So I'm going to be getting more of those browns and just blending it and diffusing it so it looks all blended in. I'm going to get a little bit more of that black and blend it up a little bit more. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to drag it a little bit farther in on the lash line so it makes a little liner effect. So this is what it looks like so far. It is so pretty and so blended out. So now I'm going to be doing 
curling my lashes and putting mascara on and I'll be Okay, so I actually put two coats of mascara on and I usually don't do that, but this look is really dramatic, so I really wanted to go all out. Okay, so I already used some Mac Fix Plus. I'm just using that for my primer today. And I'm actually going to be going into foundation next. What I'm going to be doing is a CC cream, which has been my ride or die in the past few videos. It, it is the It Cosmetics Your Skin Look Better CC Plus Cream in the shade Fair. I'll be putting that all over my face. Concealer, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Snow. I'm actually going to be using a different powder I haven't used in a minute. It's actually the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, and I'm actually going to be using the Banana Shade my Beauty Sponge to just press it in the skin. Okay, so now I'm going to be bronzing up my skin. I'm actually going to be using the Hula Light Bronzer. Okay, for blush, I'm going to be using the Makeup Geek Blush and Infatuation, and I'm so sad it is not available anymore. I'm so sorry. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I'm going to just be using the lightest shade that we used, which was the Hula Lights. I don't want it to be too dramatic under the eyes. That's how she did it, and I'm going to get the darkest shade I used in on the, just focusing on the outer corner. Oh, <gasps> no. I'm kind of connecting it to the wing effect. The setting my brow bone, I'm actually going to be using MAC Cosmetics in Emphasize. Just a highlight. Oh, so pretty. And then just blend the harsh edges. I'm gonna be setting my eyebrows with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. If you already know, the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter with Nikki Tutorials in number 250. It's so beautiful. So doing this method. Like, look at that. I just love it because it just gives it such a natural glow from within. So I'm going to set my face again with MAC Fix Plus. So the big star of the show is red lipstick, and I honestly have never really worn red lipstick before, but Julie really talked about the liquid lipstick by Maybelline New York. Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in the shade 20 Pioneer, and I'm so excited to use it with this red. It is so beautiful. So I'm going to be applying it on my lips. I moisturized my lips really good before. Oh, she wasn't joking. The lipstick is all on my teeth, but I love it so much. And I know Julie has talked about how this lipstick literally is so good and will go through everything and it really is hard to take off. So I'm really happy for this liquid lipstick. Overall, I really do love the look. It is so pretty, so holiday. You can wear this going on Christmas Eve to church to gathering to Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, literally whatever around the holidays. It is so pretty. And I love how natural the eyes are, and then you just have this big, bold red lip. If you guys like this video, give this video a big thumbs up so I know you like these kinds of videos. And don't forget to subscribe down below so you can join the family as we're growing each and every day. And thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!